Tomorrow features the launch of the new City Skyline Skyscrapers and Heart of Korea content creator packs, as well as a base game update. And as we all know, every time the base game of City Skylines updates, mods commonly break. And while not all mods break with the updates, it is extremely common. The best fix is to wait for the mod creators to update or find an alternative. And I will link a spreadsheet that I've used for quite a while that shows all of the updated and deprecated mods so that you can know what's working and what's not, and what's not going to work in the future. But for now, let's talk about how you can get back to playing your games until your favorite mods update or an alternative is launched. And obviously to do that, the first thing we need to do is play City Skylines. We have a launcher update ready. So once we have the beautiful launcher open, we're not going to hit resume, even though that's what we all want to do. We're going to hit play because that's going to allow us to easily access our content manager, which is where we can find the mods that are causing a problem. Now, so let's say you aren't ready to wait for every mod to update in order for your game to start working again. Now, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. One, an update or an alternative to your favorite mods will probably be released. So keep an eye on that spreadsheet because it's going to have all of the information you need to get back to playing your game the way you want to play. In the meantime, though, you are going to have to disable and completely unsubscribe from the mods, and I'll explain why in a moment. But if you do that, it could mean the next time you load into the city, things aren't where they're supposed to be or things are broken, so hold off for now. The best thing to do is wait for the mods to update, but if you just can't wait to get back into playing, here's what we can do. We need to disable and unsubscribe from the mods that we believe are causing the problem. So to do that, it's very simple. Turn the mod off, and then once the mod is turned off, click on the Steam Workshop icon right here. Now, just because we've turned the mod off, that doesn't stop it from loading separate files when we load into our game. So if a mod is completely broken, we need to fully unsubscribe from the mod by clicking this unsubscribe button right here. This, once you click it, should completely remove the mod from showing up in your content manager. I do want to mention that if you completely unsubscribe from a mod and deactivate it, your city could have some issues moving forward. So before you load into your city to see if things are working properly, be sure to create a backup of your city. Otherwise, what I would strongly encourage you to do is start a new game fresh and test out the new content that has been added to the game. Then, once the mods have updated, you can come back, resubscribe to them, re-enable them, and you should be able to load back into the city that you were building previously. Always just remember, though, that broken mods are usually temporary, especially for popular ones, so be patient. Popular mods are almost always updated or have an alternative released within the first few days of a new DLC or a new game update coming out. For now, though, we can go ahead and get back into playing our favorite game, but be sure to check out the video on the screen right now because YouTube seems to think you would like it. And by all means, let us know in the comments of this video or that video if they were correct. I'll see you all in the next video.